Not all migraines are associated with a trigger. But if yours is, one of the best ways to prevent them is to know your triggers and do everything to avoid them. For some, this means saying no to certain foods. In this video on PARS Health TV, we are going to be sharing with you 7 of these foods. So, stay tuned with us. Number 7. Chocolate. Many people often get headaches soon after eating chocolate, which has understandably led to the belief that chocolate causes headaches. But it turns out that might not be true for all people. A review of research on chocolate and migraines found that a minority believed chocolate was the cause of their headaches. But studies in which participants were given chocolate or similar tasting alternatives without knowing what they were getting did not show an increased risk of chocolate-related headaches. Chocolate can get a bad rep as a migraine trigger. Many migraineurs experience increased appetite and food cravings before the onset of the headache. In other words, buying or eating chocolate may be the result of an impending migraine, not the cause. Number 6. Processed meat. There's no good research to show that processed meats can cause headaches, Rosen says. But nitrates, used as preservatives in hot dogs, bacon, and deli meats, can dilate blood vessels and cause headaches in some people, according to the National Headache Foundation. Although meat generally has fairly low levels of these chemicals, some people may be particularly sensitive to these products. As with all food triggers, the best way to determine if you are one of these people is to have a food and symptom diary. Number 5. Ice Cream A pounding headache after eating ice cream is more likely a reaction to a cold than the ice cream itself. Ice headaches are more likely to occur when the body is overheated, and the pain usually peaks in about 30 to 60 seconds. Cold foods like ice cream can trigger migraines in migraine sufferers, but for most people, the pain goes away quickly. The solution is to eat ice cream or drink a cold drink slowly. Number 4. Artificial Sweetener Artificial sweeteners such as aspartame and sucralose have been tied to headaches in some people, but available evidence suggests that they are not particularly strong migraine triggers in most people. With aspartame, you have to drink a lot to associate it with headaches as an independent trigger, says Vincent T. Martin, MD, a headache specialist, and professor of clinical internal medicine at the University of Cincinnati. But that doesn't mean artificial sweeteners are unimportant, especially when mixed with other potential migraine triggers. If your food diary shows that you're more likely to get headaches when you drink diet soda, you may want to avoid these sweeteners if you have other triggers like stress, menstruation, or bad weather. To stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell button to get some interesting stuff and upcoming videos. Number 3. Aged Cheese. There's not a lot of research on cheese as a migraine trigger, but the general consensus is that aged cheese is more likely to cause headaches, Rosen said. The culprit may be a substance named tyramine, which is formed when cheese proteins break down over time. The longer the cheese is stored, the more tyramine it contains. Some examples of aged cheeses are blue cheese, Swiss cheese, cheddar cheese, gouda, and parmesan. Tyramine can also be found in processed or cured meats and fermented foods such as sauerkraut and pickles. According to the National Headache Foundation, a diet low in tyramine may help some migraine sufferers. Number 2. Coffee Discontinuing your normal caffeine intake is a common headache trigger. If you sleep late on the weekend and wake up with a headache, you may be suffering from a caffeine withdrawal headache says Dr. Daroff. However, a little caffeine, which is included in some over-the-counter headache treatments, can actually help relieve headaches. But too much caffeine can make you more prone to headaches. To limit the risk of headaches, people with migraines should limit their daily caffeine intake to 200 mg and consume the same amount at around the same time each day, research suggests.
Number 1. Red Wine and Alcoholic Beverages Sulfites used as preservatives in white and red wine have been identified as potential migraine triggers. This means that wine can be an effective trigger for some individuals due to the integrated effects of sulfites and alcohol. Alcohol in any drink increases blood flow to the brain and can cause dehydration, both of which can lead to headaches. Robert B. Daroff, MD, Professor of Neurology at Case Western Reserve School of Medicine in Cleveland and past president of the American Headache Society, says, in people who have cluster headaches, alcohol can also cause severe headaches. Why do foods cause headaches? The exact cause of migraine is unknown. But doctors agree that transient changes in brain activity cause symptoms. They can also affect your blood vessels and nerve signals. The result is a throbbing headache that lasts for days. Many factors can trigger migraines, such as medications, hormonal changes, and lack of sleep. Your diet also plays a role. For about 10% of people who suffer from headaches, certain foods are the triggers. Certain foods can trigger migraines and other types of headaches. But not all renowned headache triggers deserve their bad rep. Sometimes one food may only be a small trigger for a migraine attack in a small number of people, while other foods may actually be mistaken for a trigger. A number of triggers can cause the body to react to pain in the head, jaw, or face. These may include environmental changes, tobacco use, changes in hormone levels, stress and anxiety, bright lights, or changes in sleep patterns. What causes a headache or migraine varies from person to person, and often headaches are caused by a combination of different triggers. If you have a headache after eating, it may be, at least partially, caused by the food or drink. It's not at all unusual for food to trigger migraines or other kinds of headaches, says Noah L. Rosen, MD, a neurologist and pain expert at Northwell Health Physician Partners Neuroscience Institute in Great Neck, New York. But because different foods trigger headaches in different people, keeping a food and headache diary can help you figure out if your foods are linked to your headaches. Do you have migraine headaches? Are they caused by food triggers? If yes, which foods cause migraine headaches for you? Don't hesitate to leave a comment and share your ideas with us. And don't forget to watch more of our videos on the left and right of your screen. Thanks for tuning in. Wishing you a great day.